Oh, absolutely shocked by it. Yeah, it, uh, um, it was vitriolic almost in terms of the criticism. But yeah, I mean, I'm, people are entitled to their own opinions, and sometimes you've got to make tough calls. And uh, um, you know, and we made a tough call. And we knew on Tuesday night when we sat down as coaches and we were going to name the team that there was going to be some fallout from that. But you know, there's, some, there's been some other players that are, have been unlucky on this tour in terms of, of selection as well. And so. I, I, I don't. I haven't taken a lot of pleasure out of tonight in terms of feeling vindicated. I just, you know, I, I haven't enjoyed the last uh, 72 hours a bit. You now it's been pretty tough personally, but and you know probably maybe maybe in a week or two I might I might get some pleasure out of tonight. But at the moment there hasn't been a, a lot of pre, a lot of pleasure out of uh, feeling vindicated with the amount of criticism that personally has been placed on me. But but that's why you're in the job. You've got to make some tough calls and. And hopefully, every now and again, one of them comes through, and you, and you get it right. No, I've, I've always, I've always stuck by my guns and said, you know, you've got to make. Sometimes you've got to make tough calls. And I remember in Wales a couple of years ago, we made a, I made a tough call on on, on um, letting Martin Williams, you know, dropping Martin Williams for, for Sam Warburton, and you know, and sometimes you know, you've, you've got to, you've got to eventually. That's why, you, you know, that's why you're put in the position to put your balls on the line. Sometimes you. You've got to be prepared to do that.